yes, we'd like to play first. And no, we won't mulligan. I'm going to kill his first play in order to play the library instead. Uh, we'll use the wasteland. That way he's not trying to kill us with it. Um, yeah. Well, when I say trying to kill us, so that he's not trying to waste us out. Uh, if he goes after a wasteland, it's kind of like, like, this is saying pretty much, hey, look, guess what? I'm going to kill your first non-basic that you play. So all of his taigas now belong to me. Uh, this is just something that he'll have to deal with. And that will... It doesn't require the mana. And, and we can still dismember his first play and play Thalia before his second play can attack. Thalia is very good against his deck. Uh, well, yeah. Thalia is very good against his deck just simply for the fact that Goblin Chieftain is the only way to get goblins above 2 strength. Or 2 toughness. So kind of helpful. Uh, he does have a wart though. That is something to remember. And get that down. The unfortunate thing about Thali is that she's going to make the dismember cost a little bit more. So just something to keep in mind. Next turn we can dismember prior to Thalia. He went and got his black source. That's different. There's his wasteland. So now we can play the Thalia. Uh, there's our batter skull, which not exactly something that we're interested in. Uh, we will put those two back, and he doesn't have a guy, so I think I'm actually going to go to. Well, was going to go to playing the Bob, but can't do that. So I guess I should have played the Savannah. We have to play the Thalia. Let's see what he thinks about this. Does it warrant two cards out of your hand? Yep, as figured. And let me actually set this up to all over the seal to that so that we don't have to keep hitting OK. Um, hmm. So if he plays a Chieftain, he can't swing with that. Uh, we get the Goyf up and active. So, or the, not the Goyf, the Jit up and active. And then we go from there. So let's see how he likes this idea. Did you bring in Artifact and Enchantment Hate for no good apparent reason? And do you have another land if you do? Because I highly doubt you have Shattering Spree. Or were you relying on Parish? Uh... The good news is we do have that Wasteland on top, so if need be, we can cast the Dismember. Uh, we play the Wasteland, we Dismember at 1 in 4 life, and we go from there. Um, let us, let us see. Sting Scourger. Okay, so that'll at least die next turn. And we can hook up to the Thalia anyway. Uh, probably not hooking up to the Thalia. I'm going to kill the Lackey over there. I don't need him dropping something in by having another Sting Scorcher. Or a Warren Weirding or something like that. So we'll take one here. And let's see. We're going to put the Wasteland back on top. This will give us access to our black mana. Like his graveyard shouldn't be too relevant. I'm going to kill the Lackey prior to. So that way if he does play Wart, you know, he can't do that. There's a lot of damage to be taken against an aggro deck. But, I mean, 
it's the position that we're in. And now we get Thalia. So Sting Scourger will die during his turn. We'll have four mana, a fifth if uh fifth next turn. If he kills Thalia, we can just plop the batter skull down. Alright, so he's got a pile driver. Little do you know. And there and there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attack in first with the Jit equipped Thalia. That way, if he's got Pyrokinesis, he has to use it now. And he can't split it apart to our Bob. I don't think this is going to go the way that you think it's going to go. So, first one dies. Jit gets counters. I get to kill the second one. So, just if you're wondering, combat damage does not stack. But what you do get to do is actually interact in between damage steps. So, first strike damage and normal damage. You get to inter in do things in the middle of those. Uh, what's really good and what I kept screwing up at, at the Invitational was Thalia plus Stoneforge Mystic with a Caracas out means that you're not trading two for one with a with a thresholded goose. Uh, I a couple of times and at one point in time it was the plan to do it and I did it didn't even do it. Like there was a point where it was the plan for like three or four turns. Uh, that kind of sucks, but he can only kill one of them and he still has to deal with an active jit. Next turn he gets to deal with a batter skull, so I think I'll be okay here. Um, in theory. Could always go the other way. Um He'll probably hold off on this. That way I can't just kill it and, he, and then he, I move it over and swing. Because, I mean, I'm looking at three cards a turn. Uh, what he doesn't know is that I'm going to get the Batter Skull. Or I'm going to get a land and then have the choice of a Batter Skull. So, I mean, what do you aim for here? Do you aim for the creature that just completely decimates you? Yep. Looks like he did. Okay. And he's got no other play. So, I mean... Let's see what we got here. He gets to see that. Yes, we're going to do this. Um, I do want the Batter Skull, and I want the Shuffle Effect. Uh, that being said, I don't want to take the damage for it, so I'll just put those two back, and we'll keep the Shuffle Effect for next turn. And I'm just gonna, planning on playing the Batter Skull this turn. There's not much that he can play at this point that would cost me the game. So, I mean, he could play a Blood Moon, but I'm already on board. So, in theory, I should be perfectly fine. Uh, his Pyrokinesis does kill this, but... That's at the cost of two of the five cards in hand, sticking him down to three. If he wants to make a play, that's two, yeah. I didn't see him surviving much longer. Uh, we did not miss a land drop. Good job. Wait, we did. Or, no, he wasted us. That's what it was. Uh, so, let's see. Anything that we'd want to change about that? Uh, let's drop you down instead of doing that. Typically, I close it. Um, on the play... I think we're in the same boat where we need one of these first removal spells here. The six of these in order to actually be able to interact in a positive manner. I mean, Vile is probably the better thing that he could do. We've got outs to a Vile. We can pulse it on turn two. Uh, he's probably bringing in, since he had green, I'm assuming Ancient Grudges. Uh, it used to be Tin Street Hooligan, Ancient Grudge, and that was pretty much the green splash that I can think of. Um... So that's something to actually think about. We're going to have to worry about our mana base actually being susceptible by using the diamonds. Uh, still haven't seen a port out of him, so I'm going to assume that he's as most of the normal goblin lists are now, where they don't have port. Um, that being said, that was part of that deck's best attribute. 
being able to port people during their upkeep when you had a vial out. Home. Yeah, we'll go with this. 